So yeah, it's me again. Uh, this time I will be talking about ZioSQL. So SQL is everywhere. Uh, whether you're building a web application or web API or you're building a data pipeline, or maybe you're doing uh, distributed queries with Presto, you are probably using uh, SQL. Um, but there are already many libraries out there, um, like Doobie, Sleek, Quill, to name a few. Um, so do we need another one? Uh, so another question is, do the existing libraries uh, meet our expectations? Um, so take, uh, take a look at Doobie. Everyone seems to love Doobie. Um, so, if you're working with Doobie, you are working with strings. They are checked for correctness, but not checked against any schema. And another problem is that if you're working with strings, you are going to concatenate strings. And this can take out of hand quite quickly and become, well, at least bad. From other downsides is that Doobie well integrates with type level ecosystem, but as we saw in Tamar's, uh, Tamar's presentation about streams, FS2 um, integration is not, not really good with Zio. And additionally in Zio, we want our environment and type, type errors. So what about Sleek? Sleek is also great but it has a lot of boilerplate when it comes to defining schemas. And it's more like a collection API than SQL API, at least when we are doing simple things. When we are starting doing some more complicated things, we need to add some SQL-like keywords. And then it becomes not very cons consistent. And we also get this um, get this explosion of uh, nested tuples. Other downsides include uh, problems with type inference, with DBIO action, and actually it seems like a feature complete library that's in the maintenance mode, so not much innovation there. Also the, in the, um, the integration with Zio uh, is not ideal. Actually, in Scalac, we have a library that allows you to, to use uh, speak with Zio, but it's not perfect. So what Zio SQL brings to the table? Well, for one, minimal boilerplate and full composability. Uh, in, this, in this slide, we are defining two tables and because everything is a value, uh, Having having a common set of uh, common set of columns for these two tables is really trivial compared to um, compared to the boilerplate in, in Slick. This is really lightweight. Our queries will be type checked uh, for correctness at compile time and also checked against the schema that we defined and. Our queries will stay flat, like in SQL, even if we use um, even if we use uh, joins. Uh, we cover full uh, full expressiveness, uh, like here, the delete with uh, with the subquery, and uh, and the DSL is really really simple, just as SQL itself. You you would really need to try hard to make it even simpler. 
We also cover database functions, both defined at the SQL, um, SQL specification and uh, database specific functions. And to, to summarize what ZeoSQL, uh, what ZeoSQL gives us is a type safe DSL, close as close to SQL as, as it can be, with low boilerplate and flawless type inference. It can be dialect agnostic, but it also can be dialect specific if we need it to. Uh, it's closely integrated with Zeo, obviously, with environment and type errors. And last but not least, uh, it's supported not only by, by the community, but also by Zyverge and Scalasy. We are ready for contributors. We need only a couple of more features to, to have a complete release. Uh, you can, I hope to see you on GitHub and thank you for listening.